Hey everyone, and welcome to another Active Timing tutorial. Today we're going to be discussing auto generation of UID list for the UHF tags. So, if you've got a tough reader, this one applies to you. If you're using the dual frequency systems, such as the light, elite, or super elite, this one is not going to apply to you. All right, so if you're not already familiar with the Active Timing startup screen, this is what it looks like. Uh, we're going to come over here first and we're going to select settings, tools, and then for UHF, we're going to select Auto Generate. And that'll bring up this secondary screen. The fastest way to begin this is to just simply enter in our batch number. Uh, if you've got your tags in front of you, you should be able to see the batch number printed below the barcode and the uh, individual tag ID. So it'll have the barcode on top, the tag ID below that, and then in the gray striped area, you should see the batch number. If you don't see that, um, it should be in some of the documentation that we sent you. If you don't have that, uh, or we for some reason did not send that part to you, you can always contact us here at support at ipcosports.com and we can assist you with that. Okay, so my tag batch number is 490104. Okay, uh, and then to start off, I have 21 tags, so I'm just going to start off at number one and go to... 21. All right, so that gives me a total number of 21 tags. Uh, and then I need to start entering the tag IDs. So I've got my, my tags in front of me. And mine starts at 010305. And it ends at 010325. Okay. Now notice that uh, that I've got those leading zeros in there. If you forget to put that in there, um, it's fine, but it's not going to generate. See, tag ID must have six digits. So you just come back over here if you ever see that. Enter that zero, and you should be good. All right. So once you've done that, just go ahead and click generate. Okay. Successfully assigned. Good. We'll hit export, and then we'll go ahead and just uh, create a file name here. UHF test one. Okay. Save that. And once this is finished, I'll show you what that file looks like. Okay. So we've got UHF test one. Okay. Um, I would recommend, if you're going to be looking at this, to look at it in Notepad. Don't open it in Excel. The reason being is that Excel handles um, these files kind of weird. So it throws it into scientific notation. Um, sometimes you can come over here and you can change it to text and that will fix it but you can see that it doesn't in this case okay so we don't you definitely don't want to open this and then click save because then that's going to mess up your files um, but regardless i would just recommend not opening in uh, your csv files inside of excel at all um, instead i would just open it to view it inside of notepad and you can see that opens it up nicely we can see all of our numbers there um, I only do this just to verify that I've got all my numbers listed, everything's fine. Um, you're probably not going to be able to make any sense out of this, so I wouldn't worry about that. Just be aware that if you do open this up and you accidentally hit any keys like that, okay, if I save this now and I don't fix that, uh, that's going to mess up this particular line and that particular participant is not going to be read. So just be careful, um, and that's just kind of a little bit of a, a tip for you. All right, so I'm not going to save that, and I'm going to minimize it. All right, now let's actually go back in here real quick and look at some of the other options, okay? So um, the first the first thing that you probably noticed is that there's a little plus sign here, okay? So I can click this all day right now, and it's not going to do anything because I haven't entered anything here. Um, but let's say that, uh, that I've got my bid numbers laid out in front of me, and I noticed that uh, somehow I lost or misplaced or or you know, maybe it caught on fire. Um, I, I, I lost one of my bibs, or two of my bibs, however you know it works out. Um, so I've got one through five, but number six got eaten by my dog, so I'm gonna have to enter seven through 22. I, need, I still need my 21 tags, uh, you know, because I've got 21 participants but somehow six got messed up, okay? I can enter one through five and then seven through 22. And then the same thing that I did before, I'll just enter in those numbers here and that will just match up all the, all the physical tags that I've got to the bibs 
that I have on hand, okay? So I would just skip over number six and I would just attach in, in that order, okay? And same thing, hit generate, save it, and you should be good to go, okay? Um, now let's say that everything is fine with my actual bibs, which is the numbers that the participants are actually gonna be wearing on their chest, but somehow I lost one of the stickers um, in the pairs of tags that I got, right? Because you notice uh, when you're looking at your UHF tags that it comes in pairs. And so let's say that I lost number 010323 for some reason, okay? So I'm going to enter in my batch number 490104, and then I'm going to start off entering the bottom number, okay? So the first number is... 010305, but as I said, something happened and I lost 010323, so I'm just going to put in 010322, okay? But I'm going to add another line, I'm going to skip over that, I'm going to add 010324 and then 010326 because I still have to match 21 of these tags. Uh, up with the bib numbers, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and hit generate. Yay, looks good. Let's check it just to verify. And I call this test two real quick. And save that. Okay, there's test two. We'll open it with notepad. Okay. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way down here. Okay, it's got all of these, and everything looks great. Okay, um, you'll notice when I get to right here, which is where that number uh, 23 was, that it actually jumps a number. Okay, it's got 50, 51, 52, and then it suddenly jumps to 54. That's because we had to uh, we had to skip over that one. Okay, so I can verify just by kind of you know, look a cursory glance, I can look at this and tell that, that it worked, okay? Um, so that's that, and let's try one more thing here. Uh, you notice that we've got another tag batch, okay? 490104. Okay, this is purely if you have two batches of tags, okay? So you, let's say that you've got this batch of tags and you run out, and you need to start in the middle of that. So, you know, you've got 490105 or 106 or, you know, whatever it might be. You can add that there. And, and again, the same thing. You can just add those those tags in there and that will work for you. Okay. So not too, too hard. Um, it can be a little bit more complicated depending on your situation, but uh, relatively simple nonetheless. So I hope this has been informative. Thanks for watching.